Uh, hello everyone, and welcome to the Always Moving Podcast. Hello, every oh, this bad. is episode thirty-four, and this I believe rightfully be titled "The Art of the Laugh." Today we've got <laughs> former. Uh, you've been on the show a couple times, Dewey Christich. Yeah, that's me. I've been here, and uh, first timer Blake Love Parker. How you doing? Hey, I'm great. How you doing, Lindy? I'm swell. I, I'm excited to hear from Parker. Yeah, uh, you know, he's he's kind of a ghost out there, but we send each other random things all day long, <laughs> every day. <laughs> uh, Lyndon would love this thing that makes absolutely no sense at three in the morning on a Thursday. <laughs> Here's a gif of mushrooms growing. <laughs> I don't think there's anyone that has more inside jokes than Parker Love. Yeah. Like with everyone, with everyone, <laughs> everything it lasts forever. He's a like every joke will last literally forever. <laughs> yeah, is there, is there an issue with that? Or hell no, <laughs> ten years strong, bro. Hey, Respect. Hey. <laughs> um, so <laughs> we, uh, talk jokes. Can we talk the biggest joke there is that somehow the three of us have girlfriends? Oh, yeah, that's messed oh. up. <laughs> Who would have thought? as gamblers i never would have put money on that but uh you know um so first thing i want to get to what would your uh what would your girlfriend describe your sense of humor as <laughs> oh parker you go first okay because Alyssa, i got her to answer before i did this and <laughs> she said without really thinking not for everybody <laughs> Yeah, I think we're all up. over there, I'd say. <laughs> what would you uh what would you describe my sense of humor as? Childish. Communist. <laughs> Thanks, Trudeau. Sometimes funny. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, what I would get. Lyndon's girlfriend said, not for everyone. <laughs> so I got an uh, eye roll <laughs> I got <And> absolutely <laughs> moronic was the only other words, <laughs> which I'm yeah. glad, personally. I think that's perfect. <laughs> I got cheeky, I got witty, and era-defining. Okay, you did not get era-defining. No, I added that one myself. And she said, I can't. I said, did it yell at me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, Alyssa would never say something that nice. No, no one would ever say anything like that to any of us. <laughs> we don't get a lot of compliments. Not for our jokes. Definitely not. No, we, our as looks. long as it makes us laugh yeah dude. yeah i don't care about anyone else as long as i'm laughing with parker remember that's how literally I'm yeah always go <laughs> i hate these two <laughs> so then uh so that kind of led me to thinking like how does your humor fly around uh your girlfriend's friends and family <laughs> oh okay how, how oh, sensitive do you have to be <laughs> um I try not to be because I'm like, they better get used to it because like, I don't want any shocks later on. So I'm just like, I'll shock them right now. And then uh, they'll just be like, oh, that's oh, okay. He's joking. And it's never like personal. Classic door. But sometimes it's still, you know, there's, I still have to like really say, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just lying. Like, this is just me, like chill. But now Hannah gets it. So Hannah's always just like, ignore him, ignore him, ignore him. Whenever I say something dumb, because I'm constantly making up like facts like that aren't facts i'll just say shit just to respond even though i have no idea what i'm talking about actually the ancient aztecs used to <laughs> Scott is in the serbia, serbia did have a bigger empire than the romans actually <laughs> where's that in the history books <laughs> uh kelsey and her friends are about the same i get told pretty much before any time to go out please do not be super sarcastic <laughs> And then probably <laughs> or one of her friends, Parker, your sarcasm is just too much sometimes. And they're a bit, yeah, they, they get it now, now they know me, but it was a bit, it was a bit dicey at the start, I think. I think that, I think the best part, the best thing is just to get it out of the way, like yeah. right away. So yeah. people are like, aha, uh -huh, that's you done. I'm used to it after like, but like, you know, it's always going to be some awkward. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's the best way I've, I've gone about it too. Cause like normally when I'm meeting people, we're drinking and when I'm drinking, I'm a little more off the <laughs> HBO max. So <laughs> it's just like, Oh, that's just what he is. He's wacky. <laughs> He's kooky. <laughs> what, a, what a goofball. You're asshole. Um, 
Yeah, so Parker, I'm, I'm glad you're here. I don't know about for Dushin, but in mine, you're still just sitting there cross-armed. <laughs> Your picture hasn't moved. Oh, geez. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Good. Uh, I'm glad you're here. You to be more animated. I need you to uh, solve an issue between Dushin and I. Yeah. And it's about comedy. Okay. The topic of the episode. Is Rick and Morty funny? Oh, uh huh. I think it's a yes. bit overrated in how funny it is. It's still pretty solid, but it's been overblown. Dude, I see one more. I, I could have uh, told you. I could have told you Parker was going to answer the way. I, I haven't it. seen tons of it in my def- like to be devil's advocate. I haven't watched a ton end to end, but the stuff I've seen, it's pretty okay. It's not as good as Seinfeld or The Simpsons. No doubt about it's not that. Not as good as Simpsons. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's Seinfeld's a classic. A lot better. It's different though. It's 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 different. Yeah, sucks is what you mean, right? Because the other ones. No, dude, good. dude, no, <laughs> it does not suck. It's different. It's it's very like it. It goes. I think not it goes everybody a lot into like psychology and stuff and like how people deal with like their issues and how they like project shit. And it's like funny on like a deeper level than it is like more just like one liners and surface level jokes. It's mm-hmm. like different. Like you're like oh, more like character driven to me. I. When I was forced to watch two, the first three seasons twice to try to understand you, Dewey, I did that for you. I didn't feel that at all. <laughs> I don't know why. See, because I, I, after you told me that, I didn't think you would like Always Sunny. Because I thought the reason you didn't like Rick and Morty was because it was like not, not very like heartfelt and it's like way more cynical than anything else. So I was like, oh, maybe he just doesn't like how like mean or like just sh- that kind of thing it is. So I was like, okay, well, Always Sunny is like pretty toxic and all this crap. So I was like, I wasn't sure if you'd like any of the characters or any of that, but you love that. So I love that show. I don't know. I don't know. What do you not like about Rick Morty? I didn't care at all about, you said it was like, you know, kind of character driven. I didn't care for the characters whatsoever. <laughs> you didn't care about what? They they change so much. Like, and they grow as, and ri- what? So I like the see, I feel like this is a position you have to take <laughs> so you could be an asshole. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and Skip Bayless and Dushin's being Shannon Sharp. <laughs> this is what's happening right now. This is what's happening. <laughs> you fuck. He's clearly in the wrong, but he's going to get viewership in for just being completely wrong. Yeah, but LeBron's not the GOAT. <laughs> <laughs> LeBron's not a top 25 player ever. Someone put him in the top 50. <laughs> I'll take Iguodala. <laughs> oh god. All right, well fuck. Well, well fuck me, whatever. So, <laughs> I'm with Dewey. Whatever, I don't care. I don't I don't even care. It clearly didn't bother you. <laughs> so you're just getting back. How's your trip? Good. Uh went to Waterton BC and did some did one hike, beautiful, saw reindeer on the trail in like this meadow with like a bunch of pink flowers. It was literally fairy tale esque how do you know it was a ring uh i it had like the it literally looked like one and i don't know what the difference between like i think an elk is way bigger and it wasn't like it wasn't huge it was like medium sized and it had antlers so, and it looked like the reindeer from jingle all the way okay, maybe <laughs> it's a great movie it was pretty fucked and then uh yeah that's it came back today like 30 minutes ago 40 minutes ago a good time yeah you look like you just got back yeah, I just showered. Oh, fuck. Oh, I like I it. Get a haircut. Grizzly Adam's beard going. It's so <laughs> raw. <laughs> just a uh, comedy, just raw. So I know I sent you guys some questions before, but I don't even remember. Ask them. Ask them. Fully what I wrote. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> now that I've looked back, um, I know with both of you, I do a lot of reference humor. We all do it together. Yep. What are your? Those videos? what are like probably our main yeah. sort of things. We're not that growing up for sure. Own. <laughs> when you get us on our own, it's pretty bad. <laughs> uh, but what what are your uh, what do you, what do you feel you reference the most? And do you ever catch yourself laughing alone because you happen to think? Yes. Of Duh! All 100%. the fucking. I think those are the best. I like it when nobody else laughs but me. Because then I'm like, oh, this is even more funny. Like, it's just weird. Uh, I got to say Simpsons, obviously, by far. I reference that the most. And I think that's, like, the hardest one for people to even, like, because nobody watches that anymore, especially not, like, the early age stuff. 
and it's just so off the cuff random shit like mm -hmm. wow look at that yeah. ad <laughs> <laughs> or like thank you very much warren christopher like just dumb like it makes no sense but like to me i'm like <laughs> uh also friends i grew up with that so i have like just all like the whole script of like the 10 seasons in my head so i can just that reference that like, at any time that like far is a big fan of that one worst show ever created. what about you i dude I, I know he's getting so much flack now and i'm like fuck it's gonna get it's getting canceled dude it's good canceled. <laughs> good get the hell out of there my most <laughs> reference show seinfeld by a mile every episode has at least one quotable line yeah and they're all gold Movies, Dumb and Dumber is how me and Dushin became friends. Austin Powers, I don't think I've had more than a three-minute <laughs> conversation with Craig Fisher in the last five years of our lives, and we haven't referenced Austin Powers. And the I other guys, right. the other guys is you, so underrated. And McGruber, I didn't even hear you catching McGruber lines. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Close friends with McGruber. Most underrated comedy I, ever. <laughs> I didn't even think about the movies part, but definitely Austin Powers, I think I, I, every day. I still say something because yeah. it's just like it just oh. comes out like oh yeah kelsey hates the movie <laughs> she she she's like i've seen i've seen the whole effing thing talking with parker <laughs> oh fuck it's the, the like, addition, like what you were saying because Alyssa didn't seem she didn't like watch the simpsons enough but i reference it all mm -hmm. the time and i laugh to myself and she's like wait what's so funny <laughs> and I'm like, oh, oh he asked like, explain the part in the episode and she just gives this look like you're a fucking <laughs> idiot I'm like, oh, well, uh, I brought this wall from home. <laughs> what? We'll sleep in the bathtub again tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I feel like reference humor is the best because it's actually funny people doing it instead of just. Yeah. <laughs> it's not just. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys have to laugh because a pro wrote this joke. It's not me. <laughs> Trust Are me, you talking about the West Side? <laughs> Fuck. <clears throat> Um, oh fuck Hold on. always sunny the implication i quote that all the time anytime there's something like somewhere where it's like okay this could end badly i'm like well you got to do this because of the implication <laughs> you know that have you ever watched always sunny parker i'm starting her yeah i'm starting I'm oh you're gonna fucking quote the shit out of that one dude you're gonna oh, i can't wait yeah i, tried watch I can't wait she couldn't stand it <laughs> she said she will like it we watched about three it's episodes a little together. <laughs> started at season one it's a little tough at season one season two gets it just gets better it gets just, better and better like continually yeah. escalates okay like for i know douche and we've talked about this before but for me the people i love the most in like comedy or whatever are scumbags and losers <laughs> and they're, <laughs> they're both of them <laughs> both they're all all of them are both <laughs> scumbags and losers it's like losers that think they're just like the sickest ever so i love that character it's three of us man <laughs> that, 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 yeah that's literally yeah, hold on that's probably why it's just the most relatable <laughs> i relate 100 to all these people oh fuck um so I'm, I'm trying to think i don't know if i even sent you guys this so maybe i'll start it but um was there ever a time when your humor you're trying to tell a joke or you're on a hot streak with a friend and it's just not landing with other people. <laughs> because one of the ones with Parker was uh, we did a handball camp in Paris. <laughs> we kept doing, uh, there was enough seats for all the French speaking guys to sit at one table together, except one had to sit with the English table. And <laughs> every lunch we just kept making puns about are you going to eat all of that? <laughs> How are the first bites tasting? <laughs> just, yeah, I had that one written down, that in Mexico. And every <laughs> single day, there would be just a little bit of a fucking rush. Just all the French guys pushing ahead so they don't want to see it. And then you'd see like two Zell or Roofs and they'd realize, like, oh, fuck, I got to see what I'm doing. No. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna finish that as like the simplest and best joke ever? I fucking I, I that's oh, like one of my openers with all of like new people somebody. anytime. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Even at work, I go to work and someone like will get their lunch and I barely talk to this person. I'll be like, oh, like, are you going to finish that? And I'll like go to grab it all the time. They're, they're just look funny. at me. It's just, <laughs> <laughs> they're like, oh, is he I, I love it when people later. don't know if you're really joking. Those are my favorite jokes. Like, is yeah. he serious? <laughs> Where they kind of give like a half-hearted smile. Like, yeah, because they're unsure. It's the best, dude. Fuck. Just keep people on their toes. Yeah, I've been uh, 
I try to bring back jokes, you know, that weren't good when they were in fact. <laughs> like what? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm lately. How could they not be good and in fashion? <laughs> Because they weren't ever funny, but now that they're uh-huh. so unfunny <laughs> and so much time has passed. Because lately I've been catching myself saying to Alyssa all the time, she'll be like, oh, I'm tired. And be like, I hate tired. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> it's so not funny. <laughs> but so, yeah. No, it's a hilarious. Because it's to, your, to the joke maker, joke deliverer. Yeah, yeah nobody's going to laugh at that. I don't think anyone laughed at yeah. that at the time. No, nope. should be a job. <laughs> joke delivery, man. Oh, the best, uh, my old man, any single time I say, hey, I got to run over to uh, Safeway or something, every single time without fail, well, you should drive, you'll get there quicker. <laughs> <laughs> it's so effing annoying to everyone else, but he just kills himself. And now I'm <laughs> starting to find my... I, I, love, like that. That I love, love that shit. I love that shit. That, that is never, definitely my niche, too. I can be as tired and grumpy, annoyed as possible. Someone no. gives me a good dad joke. <laughs> yeah. Clears the air. Life is good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I love dad jokes. I remember for my brother's wedding, I had to do the best man speech. And like, my dad is so not a talkative guy, but all the like dad jokes, I'd be like, my dad took me to the side and forced me. And he had made me say this. <laughs> it's just like, oh, I hope everyone got Ryan their gift they wanted. I got a universe remote. I said, wow, this changes everything. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Uh, I love telling uh, jokes where I lie about something the other person said. I'm like, oh, yeah, this, this person helping. said this, this, and this. They just make up gossip and then just wait for reaction. And I'd be like, nah, I just fuck with you. So you just love to stir the shit. That's all you like. I love it. Okay. <laughs> this is coming from childhood where it was like, stir the shit to make people angry. And now it's like, stir the shit to make people a little bit just like less angry. <laughs> not rage because rage is hilarious yes. but then you got you got to grow out of it otherwise you can lose all your friends <laughs> yeah i'm a big fan of the same thing in like our fantasy sports and be like wow and then it's like the guy who never really talks the most in the group chat and be like wow alexa yeah. what he said about you really uh really <laughs> <Yeah. isn't> <laughs> like i can't believe Wait, what you said that he was <laughs> Everything, uh, everything Parker was saying about you is not true. You know what? You're a great guy. What? <laughs> Wait, I thought Parker and I were besties. <laughs> oh, man. I hated douching so much when I first started handball. And just anytime I screwed up, yeah, great job, Parker. <laughs> Missed a shot from six meters. Oh, a great shot. And the second it happens to douche, him, though, you see oh. one of your passive shots that sails 20 million. <laughs> 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 Shut up, with <laughs> Yeah, that wasn't funny, dude. I didn't laugh that. Yeah, that wasn't funny. My bad. Uh, yeah, you crossed the line, Parker. Yeah, thanks for having us, Lyndon. <laughs> We're gonna wrap this thing up now. Dewey, I love uh, that you you even openly admit that you cannot take it. <laughs> right. I can only I can't it. take it. Don't don't make fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that in and of itself is funny. <laughs> it's a great he deflector <laughs> like oh he freaked out again it's true <laughs> I, got, I, I stopped freaking out I realized I laugh at people that freak out so and I can't laugh at myself while I'm freaking out it's only after and it's not that funny after it's not <laughs> for me raging and then you start laughing hard it's like oh shit this guy's crazy <laughs> <laughs> oh, <fuck. Yeah. laughs> I'm gonna be homeless one day <laughs> and I'll just be no- I'll be just be like I am like now and people will think oh this guy's like oh he's mentally like, <laughs> don't get away from this dude <laughs> years of <drugs. laughs> um yeah I liked one of our things too was our our goal was to get someone to say oh you're sick <laughs> yeah in Denmark was that not Denmark I think yeah we try to get people Christine was the one who eventually said it but we got it we got yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> you guys are you guys are sick <laughs> yeah all right that's I like think... a compliment yeah yeah i think it's like oh shit my day i made my day yeah most people are not sick um so or just don't show it i'm gonna steer Come this on. to a uh, little game oh yes parker how you doing I'm peachy, man. How you doing? Good. Your photo is still frozen on my screen. <laughs> no, he's just not moving. Yeah, I'm just sitting still working on my ventriloquism. Yeah. 
It, it looks like you're disappointed because <laughs> your eyes are closed. You're like, Fuck. why did I agree to this? <laughs> okay. We do a couple would you rathers. Okay. Parker, I know you're probably confused what that means. So I'm yeah, explain it for everyone else, not for me though. <laughs> I'm gonna propose two ideas and you choose the one you would rather do. Okay, I'm lost. <laughs> I don't know, maybe we'll we'll go back and we'll see if Dushin can do one, then I'll we'll see start with me, can. maybe. Yeah, like if I can get one now. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> go. Um <clears throat> so both of you have to answer the would you rather's, obviously. Of course. Would you rather? Go to an event that your girlfriend forced you to go to or go to an event you forced your girlfriend to come to. Because you know you're going to pay. <laughs> Oof, I would rather... I'm pretty sure uh, it is near you right now. So. <laughs> I would rather go to an event I forced my girlfriend to go to. Why? Because I'm sure I'm going to like the event and <laughs> who cares what she likes. <laughs> you don't want to you don't want to deal with the repercussion afterwards oh no no i i don't have to deal with that no make a joke out of it <laughs> well, just, yeah exactly yeah wind up your girlfriend <laughs> really piss her off some more that'd be great i'm with you yeah i'd rather go to something i want to go to <laughs> yes I, I, you can tell you know, I, i've been chewed out before I'm, I'm i'm sure i'll be chewed out again in my life i can live with that yeah and whatever i choose it's gonna be great yeah, I mean, that, exactly. Times you can see Monster Jam, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna love watching Grave Digger at the Monster Truck the week else. <laughs> Fuck, I gotta go to that. I still haven't, dude. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to go see that, and it just never ever happened. So good. Ever, you've been? Yeah. Oh, course, rich boy. <laughs> Greedy dude, I, wanna, I wanna be a driver. Oh, okay. yeah. One of those derbies. I feel like you'd be too scared to flip. No, what the <laughs> fuck? Dude, oh, you can't take it. <laughs> no. dude, what the fuck did you just say? Um, <laughs> uh, no, okay, you can't be scared to flip a car because, like, if I'm, I'd be scared to do a backflip, and then because I, the fear would make me fuck up. But you can't fuck up when you're already in a car. It's like too late. Yeah, nothing ever bad has happened at any one of those. Oh. Yeah, that's science, dude. You can't fuck up flipping a car. Is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Next. they roll cages, right? <laughs> okay. Would you rather be a saloon owner in the Wild West? Oh, yes. Or a blacksmith in medieval times? <laughs> I thought that was going to go different. Uh, um, I, oof, the saloon owner, 100%. Oh, my God, yeah. Those guys are always badasses in the movies. They always have the shotgun, the sawed off underneath, and they always, like, command respect when people start... Sh- going off in like their western they're like all right you guys need to leave and people will nobody wants yeah, to really ruin this like half the time the saloon keepers just sawed off shotgun blown back into the wall of booze <laughs> <laughs> i didn't think about it that way but what, what would it be like to be a blacksmith in the in the what middle ages i don't think it'd be well, great there's way more disease yeah and you got your guy young for sure. You for sure, yeah. Sure there's a lot of pressure on you. You gotta make a lot of swords for a lot of people using like with the oldest technology imaginable. Well it's gotta be saloon owner. But Orlando Bloom was a blacksmith in Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, if there's potential to be a pirate, then maybe I would pick that one. <laughs> I was gonna say that changes everything. <laughs> but if you're a saloon owner, there's always potential to be a cowboy. Or a bandit is also pretty sick. Or a bandit. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck. Saloon owner, for sure. Saloon owner? You'd yeah, so many bro- like you'd obviously have like a brothel upstairs too, right? It would be saloon yeah, you'd bar. Have, yeah, you'd be like a shady brothel. saloon owner, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're, oh. you're the guy who the the, the the local gang, you let them in. Or- I think Serbs would thrive in like saloon ownership like business. Blacksmith, not so much. It requires too much work. <laughs> I yeah. want to uh, screw people out of money, but I don't want to put in the work. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be from nine to four. I don't want to full time job doing this. <laughs> <laughs> so, Parker, what, what do you think? I gotta uh, go with you. Yeah, I don't. I think saloon owner. Yeah, because I just watched yeah. Tombstone, and I'd like to be there. <laughs> I don't think either living scenario is ideal at all. No, no I'm sure it's like, saloon would be cooler though. Like, think about Back to the Future. Cooler. Who's the biggest hero in that? The guy, the saloon owner, gives him the uh, <laughs> metal plate there, saves Marty McFly's life. 
Oh, fair. That could have been us. Great point. That could have been us. <laughs> but with a shady Ever hear of a good, Ever hear of a hero blacksmith? No. Orlando. I can't name one blacksmith. That's not a pirate. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we were right, Orlando Bloom. I keep forgetting. <laughs> oh, I can't think of one. <laughs> the fastest? The Greek god? <laughs> You Ooh, oh, Hephaest- Hephaestus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. There's no Greek god for saloon owning. owning. <laughs> Dionysus is the one of wine. It would probably be Dionysus, yeah. All right, let's move on. <laughs> that was educational. Move on. Um, would you rather be the founder of a disgraced company <laughs> or invent something revolutionary but it never is known about or catches on. Oh, disgraced company. <laughs> I want well, people to remember my name. I don't care what they remember it like for. <laughs> Infamy or f- f- femi. <laughs> I'll take either. Yeah, I'll take fame. Fame sounds great. <laughs> I don't want to help people. <laughs> I want to be famous. I want people to read about me in history books about my disgraced company. You could be Martin. I was just listening to a... <laughs> I was just listening to a podcast about uh, how Nestle killed like 300,000 babies with their baby formula. Could have been me. <laughs> this is what you want? <laughs> well, I mean, over not being known at all, I, I guess. So you won't be known Everybody as a dies child, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be the other one because I'm picturing it as there's this mystique and it's like a lot of people believe it was this guy. They don't, they can't confirm it or something, but there's like this, then they would write like a book and they don't know if it's historically accurate instead of some scumbag mm. who killed 300,000 babies. With my baby. What if they think it's like someone else dude. who made it though? And then you're that crazy dude. No, exactly. Guys, exactly. I made this. What if someone like, this. what if someone like Thomas Edison came out and just stole a bunch of your ideas and you're just like pissed, you're going to be pissed. Then Thomas Edison gets all the glory. Like that man. You didn't think this through, dude. No, I'm thinking it as the mystique. <laughs> I also, you know, I get a little cheesed up when I keep reading all these people that screw everyone over. Yeah, but sometimes they don't know that. Yeah. So I would bank on myself being just ignorant and screwing people over. <laughs> Not like exactly. malicious. You're be like, being like, I oh, just, you I didn't know. know. I didn't know. I didn't know what yeah. I was doing. I was trying to help the world. Depends what disgrace you not do. Is it something awesome? Like you lost all your money putting it in Dogecoin? Or was it like <laughs> no, Nestle disgraced company? thousand people <laughs> buying their baby formula. That's not awesome. It would be something like Enron. Yeah, that would be awesome. I'm picturing it as that Martin <laughs> right. And that guy's the worst. I'm picturing Wolf of Wall Street. That guy's sick. I want to be that guy. <laughs> See, I do like, I like the appeal of the being super rich for like a five period like window five-year window but uh yeah that's a tricky one that's a tricky one you're just good deep down and i'm just not <laughs> just huge scumbags yeah <laughs> we're all just scuzz bags great episode we got going <laughs> uh so we're gonna go to a uh a new game another game that was good parker did you understand that was good nope Still yeah. got no idea what we were talking about, really. Well, I feel like <laughs> I just agreed with Douche and went with it. That's <laughs> him. So uh, he's a we're... yes man, this guy. Are you? Hmm? <laughs> oh, I just popped the timer. Ten minutes remaining. Yeah, but Let's that's, move on. that's perfect. We got our last game. We're gonna. It's just gonna be you two deciding, and you share your opinion. Overrated or underrated in comedy movies? Okay, I'll let Parker go first every time, so he can't copy me. <laughs> okay, Parker, do you get this game? Yeah, talk about an overrated comedy, and then you know, then we'll go after we'll go from there. Oh my god, overrated <laughs> comedy. Um, yes. so I asked Alyssa, name me an overrated or underrated comedy. So we'll start with that one. She said an overrated comedy is Napoleon Dynamite. Go ahead, Parker. <laughs> I agree. It's what? Got, it's got its quotes, no doubt about that. It's still a good movie. I have watched it's, so much. It's, it's a cult classic. Yeah, it's yeah because it's not overrated. It cannot be a cult classic if it was overrated. What the room? It's unreal. <laughs> That's it's not the, overrated. I like Uncle Rico. Yeah. I like saying I can throw things over the mountains. <laughs> Uncle Rico's the best character. Who would have Uncle, that? Uh, Napoleon's great. Napoleon's a hilarious character. 
dude, the movie was amazing. <laughs> Definitely, it's not underrated, but it's not overrated either. I would say, say perfectly it's rated. Perfect. <laughs> Don't say that. I'm gonna say it's perfectly rated. Done. Okay, we're unanimous. Overrated. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Do you know you fat lard eat your ham? Dude, I don't understand. So many quotes, man. Every fucking thing is a quote. The love guru. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen it, so I can't answer. It's just, it's not good. <laughs> well, that's so probably perfectly rated. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I've heard anyone be like, yeah, "Have you seen the love guru? You have to see the love guru." Okay. Anyone... Yeah. Properly rated as shit. Properly <laughs> rated as real, real. The shit rating it got is perfect. Um, dodgeball. Oh, huh. I don't think it's. I don't think it's either. Either it's got to be. Is it, it's got the respect it deserves. <laughs> well, g- yeah. give me. You got something that's like. Well, Love Guru was a good one. Except we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, we've got. Okay, a, okay, okay. We've got seven minutes left. Okay. All right. So yeah, perfectly yeah, rated. Cool. I'm sorry. <laughs> What'd you say? Dodgeball is great. Perfectly rated. Yeah. Huh? I- I can go with that. I'd say slightly underrated. It gets a lot. It's funny. It's hilarious when you watch it, but no one goes out of their way to put it on. At least really, I, I don't get that. I get a lot of years. So I, I feel like mm-hmm. Spectrum uh, Cable only owns four movies. <laughs> one of them. <laughs> okay, this one, uh, this one will spark some debate because I know how Dewey feels about it. Step Brothers. Uh huh. Perfect. Overrated. Hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah. I will tell you why after. Yeah. Oh, I thought great, you were... it's still a great movie. No doubt about that. <laughs> it's it's, it's great, but it's. I don't think it's even top three Will Ferrell movies. Yeah, I agree with that. Give me semi pro number one. Give me the other guys number two, and then like I don't know. I'll think of something. Elf. Talladega or something. Know. Yeah. Thinking and screaming. Uh, Talladega, great too. Yeah. I love Mike Ditka. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way Step Brothers is. I but people say it's like one of the. It's like the best. No, it's not the best. Yeah, it's so no. it's so highly rated. I can't say it's not overrated. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. There we go. That was a good one. Nice. Yeah, I got things. I know things. Shit, you're not a bad host. <laughs> well, I do. I was starting to think. <laughs> should I even be on here? <laughs> <laughs> what is it's this? Um, it's Happy Gilmore. <laughs> Underrated. I don't know what people That's think. just because I fucking love Happy Gilmore. <laughs> it's a great movie. <laughs> I, I don't know what people think about Happy Gilmore, but it's the best. So I feel like it's well it's, regarded as a top comedy. Okay, then perfectly rated. Perfectly rated. It's unfucking believable. <laughs> it's probably my favorite Adam Sandler movie. Yeah, I mean, it's got to be. What would you put above it? I'm trying to think. Grown Ups. Eight Crazy Nights. <laughs> Eight Crazy Nights was the, the first one I thought of, too. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that one's underrated. That one's underrated. Billy Madison, Eight Crazy yeah, Nights. Eight Crazy, Eight Crazy Nights. Awesome. Yeah, hilarious movie. I don't think anybody ever talks about Eight Crazy Nights. Um, let's go from there, and we will go to. Uh, I don't know. I'm just. I've run out of paper space here, so I'm just gonna go with. I don't know. Uh, dumb or dumber. <laughs> dumb and dumber, like number. Oh, number two? The number middle one? one. <laughs> See, I have not seen that one, and I'm assuming it's no good. But I will say number number two is underrated. It's not that bad. No, it's not that bad. It's not number one. It's pretty much the same. It's a similar. It's like the same formula as number one, right? Like, the story goes, like, similar, which I like. They didn't try to change it, but, like, yeah, you can't replicate it. But it mm-hmm. wasn't as bad as people say. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. The prequel one sucks, though. <laughs> okay, I'm never watching that one. <laughs> um, underrated comedy for me is uh, Bedazzled. I've never seen it. With yep. Brendan Fraser. Oh, watch it, dude. Watch it. <laughs> oh, man. Out of the it's, list. It, it's kind of the internet's going through this Brendan Fraser renaissance. You've got to watch Bedazzled. Yeah, I'm absolutely fucking loving it. Please, Parker. I can't believe yeah. you didn't see it, dude. Okay, I'm watching it. I'll watch it before the end of this week. Oh, I don't know you're going to spoil it. I can find where to watch Bedazzled. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck. Do you guys have an underrated or overrated comedy you want to call out? Mm. Give a shout out to. Mm. Overrated, hot take, The Office. For the same reason, it's a great show, but it's it's all right. It's no Parks and Rec. Um, I would have said that 
a while, like years ago, but after I finished that, I was like, okay, I like The Office, but Parks and Rec is like the same to me. They're both the same, but mm-hmm. I did think The Office like earlier was overrated as fuck. I couldn't handle the cringe. I couldn't handle Michael, <laughs> but I, mean, I feel like he's, for an, he's perfect for the kind of humor I like. He is. That, that's what grew up. I was like, you know what? Like he does such a good job, which is why I hate him. I'm like, he's doing an impeccable job being this character. Like, come on. Uh, underrated comedy, Lyndon will never agree. Home Alone 3. <laughs> I thought you were going to say number two. I was going to get so mad at you, but number, yeah, all right. <laughs> number three, saw it. Looks like he hates New York. I'm hilarious. I love number two as well. It, it, it goes, co- laughter wise, it goes three, two, one, but favorite wise, it goes two. Are you quoting Headley's hit song, three, two, one? <laughs> <laughs> Sick reference. Underrated <laughs> song. Underrated. <laughs> Underrated comedy. I don't know, I wasn't... Fired up. F you. I still haven't seen that. I watched that with you in Mexico, I think. Yeah, it's so good. It's so quotable. <laughs> Everyone I've seen, everyone who's ever watched it loves it. <laughs> okay, I gotta watch it. It pops up on Disney Plus all the time, and I'm like, oh, I should watch this because you guys like it. And I'm like, oh, like, I'll, I'll, I won't watch it yet. I'm like, I'm too scared to watch it and not like it and be like, fuck, like... Because like the first now the mystique right is now, gone. Some of the jokes might become more dated on these kind of movies that came out when we were teens. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, they love it, but uh, I think I won't like it. And then I'm that guy. And then they're gonna make fun. Uh, I'd rather watch it with people that love it, so I could like laugh with them and then be like, oh my god. But I don't know. Like I'm probably gonna laugh at it anyway. It like it and me. Greg because they say the joke before it's about to happen every time. <laughs> My greatest talent. Oh, great, man. Thanks. <laughs> a few. Oh, that's 10 minutes from now. My bad. <laughs> uh, we got a minute 30 left. Do you want to give anything uh, underrated, overrated shout out? Trashing. Rick and Morty, overrated as hell. Sucks. Sucks ass. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, underrated as hell. Mike Tyson Mysteries. Watch that, everyone. Uh, hilarious show. Uh, underrated slap shot. Should be required viewing by every single human who lives. Also on Disney Plus, I'm gonna watch it. And airplane, airplane, <laughs> airplane, unreal. Anything with Leslie Nielsen actually is fucking hilarious. You know what I think's underrated that I feel like it doesn't get the love it should is Tropic Thunder. I love Tropic Thunder, but I feel really? like I thought everybody. You know, yeah, but I had I that like overrated. It, I feel like it doesn't carry any gravitas. Hmm. I used to think it was overrated, but rewatching it's like. I like it more now back than when I watched it the first time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Well, gentlemen, we're running out of time because I'm not going to be paying for Zoom Pro. Zoom Pro. So, <laughs> uh, I just want to say thank you for being on episode 30. Thanks for having us on. I don't know, Lindy. And uh, uh, for everyone uh, listening, and most importantly to those of you not listening, I <laughs> hope to see you at the next episode. As always, this has been the Always Moving Podcast with your host, Lyndon Savanto. And as we say around here, let's keep this thing moving.